Hey guys, welcome back to the other side of the coin. What a fantastic victory that we had against Newcastle. And since then, there's been news left, right and centre about Chelsea Football Club. And there's always news about Chelsea Football Club. But I just thought, you know, it'd be good to talk about some of these uh, interesting news that's been circulating around, you know, a current pundit that thinks that we are definite uh, title contenders and he's sort of penciled down a particular player uh, that he thinks is key to this push. An ex-player, an ex-Chelsea player thinks that we really should be going for the title based on the talent that we have. I've got some Mason Mount news uh, and his comments in regards to Timo Werner. Uh, some Kai Havertz update as well from Frank Lampard. So guys, let's start off with you know some of these players and pundits that are that are sort of touting us to be title contenders. First of all, I want to talk about Fabregas. Fabregas has come out and uh, and he's been quoted to say, I like this Chelsea team a lot. They added a lot of quality, speed and creativity, which was missing. They also added leadership in Thiago Silva. They should aim to win the league this season because I believe with Liverpool and Manchester City, they've, the, they've got the best squad talent-wise. Now, you know, I tend to agree with Cesc Fabregas, to be honest. I mean, you look at our squad uh, and, and match it up against Man City and Liverpool. Liverpool going through a whole heap of injuries at the moment. And uh, Man City are just... I feel like they've ran out of... You know, I feel every good team has like a three to four year cycle. And they're probably at the end of that cycle where they just need to refresh that squad and buy new players and perhaps Pep even needs to just change his philosophy a little bit and um, you know do something differently I suppose his his methods are probably just getting a bit old I don't know maybe that could be one of the reasons but you know going back to what Cesc Fabregas said I think you know you look at our squad he talks about we've added pace and uh, we've done that with Timo Werner uh, we've done that with Chilwell and Rhys James on the sides you know, look at he, he talks about creativity. We've done that with uh, Ziyech and Kai Havertz. You know, we, we've we've got creativity coming from many different areas now. Um, and then he talks about we added leadership in the likes of Thiago Silva, which he's he's been a massive imp, you know he's put a massive impact for us, especially in, in our defense and all our centre backs looking really really strong as well. So I tend to agree with what um, you know Fabregas has said in regards to how. This could be a very, very good time for us to win, win the win the title, and we really should be pushing and, and going for it, considering what's happening uh, around us in, in with with other with other uh, teams. But of course, this is still early in the season, but uh, there is some validity in regards to what Cesc had said. So now I want to talk about what um, you know, Patrice Evra was talking about. Patrice Evra was saying that he thinks. Um, you know, Thiago Silva is the key to to basically, um, you know, pushing us for that title contendership this season. If we can keep Thiago Silva, um, you know, fit and 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 he he stays healthy for the rest of the season, he's going to be very very pivotal. He goes on to say, Chelsea are back in the game, and um, there, there's more that he talks about that. You know, I remember that bad game against Man United. It was really boring game. But they kept a clean sheet, and now they're starting uh, start winning, scoring goals, winning games. Um, Thiago Silva will be big key for their defense, and um, that's pretty much what he goes on to say. That um, you know, other other teams at the moment are not sort of defensively set. You know, he talks about Tottenham and how they're doing well, but you know, we're in a very very strong position uh, with 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 how our defense is looking at the moment with Thiago Silva and Mendy. Think we've got great structure, and uh, you know I tend to agree once again with Patrice Evra that I think if if Thiago Silva is fit for the rest of the season, we should go a long way in in this title race. And I've said this in my previous videos. One of the key components of winning a title is is defense. Now we'll talk about Mason Mount and his comments in regards to uh, Timo Werner, which um, you know I, I, I think it was it's quite um, interesting what he had to say. And it's good. He talks about how um, you know that that this sort of attitude will will create uh, that winning mentality. And um, it's it's interesting some some of the stuff that he had to say off the back of Timo Werner missing some of those chances. So he goes on to say, "I said to Timo in the first half 
that's a goal for you. You need to score them because I've seen them going day in, day out in training. Um, then he goes on to say he's a top player and needs to be harsh on himself to score those. He knows that and it comes next. And if it comes next week, he'll put it away. He goes on to also say, I was disappointed with my ones as well, my one as well, because I feel I should be scoring those. We're we're all tough on each other and tough on ourselves because we want to be pushing to get number one. And um, he further goes on to say, we need to have that in the group where if someone doesn't score or makes a mistake, we can tell them. Chelsea teams in the past had in their group and we need the same in our group. If we do, we'll have a top chance of winning trophies. So this is this is great from Mason Mount, to be honest. I don't take this negatively one bit because I feel if you're not accountable, if, if, if a teammate is not going out there and pointing things out, whether you know you missed a goal or whether you've let in a goal or there was a mistake, um, I don't think you know players can you know basically improve. They they need to have that push that that someone constantly telling them that hey you're better than that. I've seen you do better, so you know make sure the next one that comes in that you eat it up. So that's fantastic, and I hope the team creates that culture in a nice positive manner, of course, not in a manner where. Uh, you know, gets a bit overboard and it gets a bit negative where you're starting to blame each other. Not in that manner, more of a manner that, you know, pushing each other to say that I've, I've seen you do better. So that's fantastic from that perspective um, from Mason Mann and hopefully the team carries on uh, with that attitude. Now I'll talk a little bit about Kai Havetz. Kai Havetz, um, you know, Frank Lampard has come out and said that he does hope for Kai Havertz to travel to Ren, he has been training by himself, but he looks fit. And um, you know, Frank uh, goes on to say that uh, I'll make a decision whether to make changes or not, depending on how uh, the recovery looks. We have people like Ben Chilwell who, ha- who has a who has had a back problem, and players who who played a lot of international minutes. So we'll have to see how they are. I have faith in the squad, but when I pick them. I'll try and pick the strongest team possible with a view uh, to where the freshness and legs are in the group. Um, you know, obviously he then states that Kai's naturally fit boy, so I hope to have him traveling with us to rent and maybe he'll get some minutes. I'm not sure exactly how many, uh, how many because it was a two-week isolation, but he looks in good shape. Then he goes on to say, we have five substitutes in the Champions League, which is obviously a big plus. For us that we can make decisions during the game as well but we know it's going to be a really tough game out there so yeah look i think kai Havet's inclusion in the team is going to be very very good i i don't think he's going to start but him being in the squad and being in the bench a great option for us to to have in the second half and ren you know off the back of what i saw in the first uh, match that we had in stanford bridge they look like a very, very decent team, you know, with possession. We really struggled in that game, actually, to be honest, uh, even though we came out with, with a 3 0 victory. But obviously, the red card uh, changed the match. But, you know, to have someone like Kai Vets come in, uh, you know, that, that would be fantastic um, in, in the second half. As I said, you know, the creativity and the, and the goal scoring uh, sort of ability that, that he has will, will be fantastic for us. So, Guys, um, that's a bit about all the interesting news that's been circulating around. Let me know what your thoughts are. If you've enjoyed this video, please smash that like button. If um, if you're here for the first time, subscribe and hit the bell notification, guys. Please hit the bell notification so you're notified of when when I've uploaded a new video. But yeah, before you go away, hit that like button, guys, please. And uh, yeah, until next time, see ya.